right, let's take a look. Let's see what the next level is. Take a look here. What's better than cannon speed? Cannon speed right into an LNR wall. You know, I may be playing Kaiza Mario, guys, but really I'm thinking about a gorilla fighting a puma. As we do, it was a leopard, leopard, whatever. all this time. <laughs> okay. Gorilla wins. <laughs> Game of Thrones writers. Closer. Um, I'm assuming I still need to keep P speed. So long, holy crap, how long is this, man? Jeez. It's hilarious out of context. First time I beat you, I didn't even know what was that. That was the thing you could do. Yeah, I didn't know either. Oh, it seemed better than the last one. Yeah, it was less. Uh, I would say that level was less tedious. It was shorter. It didn't need to be three sections long. Like it got to its points. You know, it still had obviously like a lot of the same tricks we've done, but yeah. All right, so what was the last level we did? Was it this one, Pit of Abaddon? Uh, now, do I go here or do I go here? Ultra Shell, D. You wanna play Shell Shell, Shell Hell, Ultra Shell, Shell Way to Shell, or Shell 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 Shell? Which one do you wanna play, man? I don't know. There's tempting options. Uh, oh, okay. Wait, what? Totally not a shell hack, though. I feel like that's supposed to be in one motion.
Hmm. Yeah, I really feel like that's supposed to be in one motion. Oh, let me start the timer. <laughs> Have you done bat out of shell? Okay, maybe it's not one motion. All right. She shells, she shells. Is this frame perfect? There's there's nothing in this ROM hack that's frame perfect that I've seen. Uh technically I think uh I, I think sticky flight is frame perfect, but you can make setups that make it essentially free. So like yeah, it's frame perfect, but it's essentially free. Hey, thanks for the gift sub, Yug. Uh, well, I like did it right, but not. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. I'm not sure what's happening there. So like, that's the second time I've got that. Like what is supposed to happen? Like I got both sticky flights. I don't really know. Am I supposed to shell jump there? I don't think so. <sighs> See, I wasn't even close on that one. That seemed like that seemed like kind of it, but it still wasn't there. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. I, I feel like I'm just supposed to make the jump to the Koopa because it looks like I have to throw the shell up at the on off switch is what it looks like. I mean, I'm like inching closer, right? It's just like, there's gotta be something. The shield break is a good class. We did it once. We did it once. So somehow just like that, I guess. What a fucking annoying move, like. Your entire, whether you can make that next jump hinges entirely upon this like completely arbitrary weird thing with no indication. Like what a, what a weirdly designed section. progress i don't really know what we're doing with that shell i think we're are we just flying through the tunnel i guess i am lucky because i still do like playing mario stuff like oh i have sticky oh i have flight uh, Ghost Give of Starman, thank you for the nine. At least we're making progress now. Straight blows, dude. Okay, so that's another. So grab that shell, then we do another shell jump to get flight back. Okay. So I was just getting a sticky flight. A sticky flight's not enough. You also, if you don't, if you want to get the proper lift out of here, you have to like dive. It gives you like a little bit more height on your lift is how that so wasn't diving. Oh. 
You gotta really delay throwing that spiky shell. What is a flaw in Jaws? What is a flaw in that movie? That movie is fucking, like, perfect. Uh, like, what is a flaw in that movie? Man, like, how long is this fucking section? Like, it's so demanding. It's so long. Like, my God, man. Just keep, no, don't, don't stop by my account. Just keep going. Don't stop by my account. I'm really grateful that there wasn't like another section. <laughs> really grateful. Because man, that was really long. Really, really long individual section. Spirit conduit. Ultra shell. <laughs> All right, let's see what this is. I'm gonna avoid the level with shell in it. Oh, I can't avoid the level with shell in it. Feels like we're at the end of time. Rochelle, Rochelle. <laughs> Guess I can't do that. Fun jumps ahead. I honestly have forgotten how to platform. Then days of shell jumping. Forgot, like, how do you even platform anymore? for what are the coins for you lens thank you for four months hey happy almost new year uh 
Okay, sure. Um. Okay, I think that's right. Somehow. I think that's right. Come on, don't bullshit me. What? 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 Oh man, the on-off shell, the on-off switch has to hit that shell up to the Koopa. I see. Huh. That seems about right. What do I think of this level? I think I am tired of doing shell jumps. Uh, I would say that I prefer this over the levels where you never touch the ground. You just get one shell jump to another. So I'd put this in the upper half of the levels in the game for sure. Uh, okay, well, I'm, I think I'm dead. What the hell do you do here? Okay, what is this? What am I looking at? Literally, what am I looking at? <laughs> what is this? I don't get it. Is that what it is? Like that, I guess? Is that it? I don't know. Oh, that's just fucking great. Thanks. <laughs> Why one more? Why not? Why not one more? <sighs> Thank God. Thank God. I would like to get out of this level. Yoshi Tengoku. I always recommend uh, eighth MS team. I love eighth MS team. Sure, yeah, just fucking buckets of shells. Why not? I don't think so. Holy fuck my ass! What the fuck? Ah! <laughs> Holy shit, man! <laughs> How? It's still going? What? Holy shit! Okay, so right there, I think I tongue that shell and then shell jump off that. Okay. I, I really do. I really do like Grounded. It's just like, come on, don't it's not me. a game I would play lightly. Uh, I don't know if I did something wrong. I feel like I just didn't make it. What does he want? What am I supposed to do there? You're playing Bloodborne on your on your Steam Deck. Jump over like. So what's the shell in my mouth for? You damage boost and separate from Yoshi, maybe. I don't know. Oh. 
See, this is like an issue I have, is that that's so like, look at how much shit I have to do just to get back there. I'm like, I understand that take damage is kind of a hard thing to communicate, but like, could you try a little harder <laughs> to communicate that that's what you want me to do? You know, cause like it's so far in the level. It just feels like a big middle finger to like, uh, figure it out, I guess. The best beef jerky I ever had was a dude in middle school brought some homemade beef jerky. Oh, we're just still going. Thank you for the 39 months. Thank you very much. Oh. <sighs> Oof. Damn. Hand be hurting today. <laughs> Let's take a look. Oh. First try. Now the real suffering. a vanilla emitter I don't know oh. yeah it's great thank you Antilles I think the like I, I've said this before I mean this hack's been fun you know it's, it's well made but uh the more ROM hacks become like this with like shell tricks and shell jumps and shell and item stuff, uh, the more I will make my exit from this hobby. <laughs> the more I will not do it anymore. This is frustration. I wouldn't say I'm frustrated. I'm nothing i don't care i really don't care here for the banner don't speak for me i don't care I, th this kind of thing is this is not this is not what i why I, I got into mario world rom hacks this is not why i play kaizo mario this is not this is not what i enjoy about it so and maybe you enjoy it but i do not so Yeah, I, I hate this. It's pretty obvious. I hate this. You got your PS5? Nice. The only midairs I really ever did was in Mario Maker, and I hated it there, too. It's like, why would I... Why would I practice something I hate? Why would I practice something I don't like? I've only ever seen this put in ROM hacks that I, I despised. You know, I didn't know this was... I, I had no idea this was in this hack. I probably wouldn't have played it. It would have given me a whole other reason not to play this hack. <laughs> didn't know this was in here. <sighs> like 11 o'clock. It looks like I've got the timing. Hang on, guys. We have a visitor. Hello! Ah, oh, meow meow! I have a visitor. Meow meow! Hello, chat!
He's usually not here in the day. He's usually only here at night. You guys got special visitor. Bored. Sure. <laughs> sure. Whatever game. Ugh. That shouldn't be in the game, dude. That shouldn't be in there. I know, like, <laughs> shells, <laughs> shells, <laughs> mid airs, but like, why? <laughs> Just why? <laughs> Ugh. And then, and then the next hack, it'll be like, well, I gotta one up Baron of Shell because I'm making the Viscount of Shell, and mine has four consecutive mid airs, like. Just don't, just don't be surprised when it's like, why? No, dude, I made my hack and like eight people played it. Like, never be surprised by that shit, man. <laughs> never be surprised. This is fine as long as you're aware, as long as you're aware that the people that would be interested in your playing your hack, like the Kaizo world is relatively small. So when you start chopping off and lopping off limbs, eventually you're going to be left with like four people who are going to play it. So just don't be surprised when that happens. Just don't be surprised, you know? Like that's that's the direction it goes into, you know? Just don't be surprised. I'm not gonna check out the final. All right, we'll take a look. Oh my God, what a crazy dude. This level's crazy. Wow. Holy crap. Guys, I, you guys might be shocked to learn this, but it appears there is a shell jump in this level. You might be shocked. And I know this hack has not been a shell hack, but I, it appears there is a shell jump in this level. All right. It looks like this is the, maybe the final level. Uh, let's do it. Let's check it out. Uh, Tristanio, thank you for the 18 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Man, never seen Bard this mad. Yeah, I know. I'm just livid. All right. Uh, do I have the input reader on? Yes, I do. Yeah. I felt bad for Boo. Uh, I felt bad for Boo trying to explain what an opinion is yesterday in chat. I think completely dumb. Uh, I didn't. I didn't see what his what was going on in this stream. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my shell. Not a shell hack, by the way. Okay, so if I press R, I get a shell. And I can also cause lag. <laughs> and if I press that, I do that. Okay, gotcha. Uh, Barb thinks he can take you in a fight. Oops. It is quiet, but let's not tell Barb. Uh, I don't really feel like I need the song. I'm, 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 I'm vaguely annoyed by this music already. I don't think I need it to be louder. I think I gotta do something like that. Do I need to do that though? I guess that's why he wants you to do that, right? I feel like you could probably cheese that though. Ugh. Oh my god. Oh, we're not. Oh. I thought like maybe like one more shell jump, but no, we're like. We're not close. Ugh. Holy shit, man. Oh my god, this game. This game and these like never ending sections. Holy shit, dude. I don't know. What do I even do there? Oh. 
Oh! Damn. There you go. Yeah, they're expensive. You need a hitbox for loop hero or darkest dungeon? I would rather fucking quit the hobby. I would just straight up quit the hobby and move on. I, I'm assuming it's an H. I assume it, this game hasn't really told you your H's too often, but I'm assuming if it's not, I'll be upset. <laughs> okay, all, all of us. Okay, we have motor skills now. Okay, we have motor skills and no shell summoning. Okay. Why are you so based? My controller wired directly into my middle brain. Having to buy a new controller for a ROM hack seems like a waste of money. Well, this is really awkward. <laughs> which button? Well, I don't even remember which button. Like, any button does it, right? This people air. Okay, I see what to do there. Oh, fuck off. Okay, I think you gotta do that. Alright. <sighs> Damn it! Self-defense is one thing, like, if you, if you get attacked, like, you should obviously defend yourself, but my opinion has always been that everybody I've been around in my entire life who would, like, choose violence for, like, somebody said something about you, like, I always had a very low opinion of that person's intelligence. Like, oh, you said something, I'm gonna get you. No, that's my take. Same. I mean, like, defending yourself is one thing, but, like, the people who were willing to, like, the people who were willing to like fight over something like that, they just always seem to me like the absolute dumbest people. So your powers have been stripped. Let's see you survive my final gauntlet. <laughs> How many times does this hack like you drop out of nowhere and like it's like a bucket of shells on you? Like, I feel like that's like the laziest and opening ever it just like dropped on shell. I hate that. I hate it so much. Uh, I'm a bit confused there. I don't know what's supposed to happen there. You, for some reason, become more peaceful and loving when you're drunk. Yeah, me too. Ask Belgium. Oh. <laughs> Whatever your experience was in school, like, somebody else did not have that experience, like, the high school where I taught at could not have been any more different than the high school that I went to. It was extremely different. So a lot of it is very regional. Like, unless you're a teacher and you've taught at, and I assume that there's a lot of other schools that would also be different from the two places I, I the place I either taught at or the place I went to for school. Whatever your experience is, there's a lot of variety in there. There's like ultra privileged schools, like super rough schools. There's a lot of gray area in there. So unless you yourself are like a high school teacher, like you and you've taught in a variety of places, then I, I wouldn't say that you know everything about what school was like. Uh, do I, I think I spin there.
87 damn you all it's like it's a like gobbledygook like what am i looking it's just like a, blah, a box and blah. like what what am i supposed to make of this i i don't know i don't know how to interpret this Okay, so right there, I land on the platform, uh, jump up, catch the Yoshi, and then I start landing on those. Okay, got you. I think individual things can be pretentious, but in general, like an entire genre, no. Uh, what? <laughs> uh, so, what am I doing? I think that was all right. Okay, so I was a little confused on the coins. I think that was all right. <laughs> I feel like this, I feel like this just goes for eternity. I feel like it's just gonna keep going for all eternity here. It's just not gonna end. What? <laughs> Dude, like, we're so deep into this level. Like, we're so deep. We're, like, look at how much shit I've gotten just to get here to have... And now I'm back in the spot where I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I was like, what am I supposed to do here, man? What is that? Oh, I... It's the fucking Krungo drop move. I didn't know, man. I don't know. Fuck. It's the stupid Krungo cape move. Uh, yeah, what are you looking at? Don't think. I don't know. I Like, for all I know, it's a shell jump, right? I don't know which shell jump it is. It's the Krungo move. You'll see it. It's the fucking... It's like my least favorite move in this game. He's had it like a half a dozen times. Top his spire, the Baron awaits. We're, we're still going, huh? Did 
denied. Don't fuck yourself, chat. the Grand Pearl 2 setup. Boss defeated. Credits. Fifteen seventeen. Uh, wait. Oh, wait. Credits? No credits? We not? I wanted credits. Oh. Uh, what do I have to do it again? These aren't credits at all. Is it a parody of Grand Pro 2? I don't know. Ah, uh, maybe this is credits? I started off the timer too early. Maybe this is like the real boss. Do you go past the door? I was I was just looking for the credits. We just really wanted to refight the boss. <laughs> I was just looking for the credits. Is it an endless loop? I didn't choose the same level, did I? Two for two. For the credits. Oh, there, oh, there you go. <laughs> All right, GG. First and second try. Do you, so wait, do you have do you have to fight the boss twice to get the credits or the the speed run? You got to fight him twice. Oh man. My hand can now rest. Yeah. Um, I, I appreciate the amount of work that went into this hack. It's pretty clear that this is a very talented creator and uh, it's a, it's a cool hack for sure. I'm not a huge fan of shell jump levels because I don't find them infinitely entertaining. Um, shell jumps to me are something that people can overly rely upon and they get very repetitive very fast so i'm not a huge fan of shell jump stuff now i can appreciate the amount of work that went into it there were I, honestly my favorite levels were the levels where he stopped doing shell jumps so that was where he like there was like a couple levels where he didn't do it and i actually appreciated those levels so but yeah gg and uh yep Hey, you're shouted out. Oh, I didn't get a shout out. Oh, bummer. Oh, well. Uh, never mind. Scratch all that. Terrible ROM hack. Do not recommend. <laughs> GG. Oh, I didn't see it. Oh, no. Great ROM hack. Definitely recommend. Zero out of 10. Uh, MF4, I had an octuple shell jump in Grand Portal 3. I got inspiration, but I didn't get thanked. Oh, okay. I guess that's how it works. 